What is it about large format photography that I enjoy so much? Maybe it's working with a wooden camera? An old design, perhaps? That can't be it. I guess I'd have to say it's the approach that it forces you to work a certain way in a disciplined manner. Going back to the roots of photography, it may be old technology, but that in no way does it mean that it is bad technology. Maybe that's exactly what I need in my life right now. What I can say that it certainly is a different process from digital, 35 millimeter and even medium format. Not better, just different. Arriving early for the sunrise, I began to set up my Takihara large format 4x5 camera that I borrowed from a very kind friend of mine, using my headlamp to check my immediate foreground and to help with focusing on the ground glass, only to soon find that my exercise with this system is still in its infancy, which leads me to find out later, when I get my film developed, what I have got is a double exposure with the other side of the film holder being unexposed. Tisk tisk on me. There is so much room for error with large format. You can make a double exposure, forget to take the dark slide out, forget to stop your lens down, or even pull the wrong dark slide on the film holder, which all has happened to me except for the latter. Add a 70 year old lens to the mix that can stick the shutter open on you and now you've got a good time on your hands. Hope you're having a good time, dude. With all that being said, I really am finding myself loving this whole process. It's quite a special experience. Even with all that room for error, the expense of seven, eight bucks a shot, and the potential of time slash money wasted, it's all worth it in the end to get that one good shot. Alright, cool. so for this scene behind me, I'm uh, just overexposing the uh, yellow leaves a little bit and um, that's pretty much my priority for this image, so I'm exposing for that. I just want them overexposed a little bit so they're nice and bright. And uh, I just love how the composition has the uh, little baby tree in front of the huge tree trunk there. I think it'll be a great shot. Let's see what we can do. Ideally, I would have loved to have come here a bit earlier so that the trees in the background weren't so bright. After 12 miles off-road, I have arrived at Patriarch Grove, where some of these trees are 5,000 years old. Just got here in the ancient bristlecone pine forest. I found this gorgeous scene behind me with a dead bristlecone pine sloped over with a little baby tree going right next to it. I'm sure you can see that. Um, shooting Ektar 100 on my 90 millimeter 4x5 camera, the Takihara. Just got the uh, sunlight kissing the back of the mountains there. And uh, I think this is going to be a great shot. Found this gorgeous foreground with a sun-kissed background.
A day trip to two gorgeous locations? What am I thinking? I will come back here. I have one last shot to show you guys, and it's my favorite one from the trip, so stick around. I just did about a 25 second exposure on this bristlecone pine with this beautiful purple purple skies with Velvia 50 that should render really well so I'm excited to get that back and uh, hopefully I didn't mess that up <laughs> the uh, pressure definitely set in and uh, you know I taught myself I made a mistake I forgot to change my light meter the ISO on my light meter so I was a stop off and that's not good with uh, Velvia film so uh, messed a shot up on that just Took another shot and uh, I think we're good now. I think I learned a lot on this trip, um, especially with working under pressure. Well, I pretty much work under pressure with my professional photography, but this is this is really a different kind of pressure. Um, and I think uh, the large format bug bit me. So if you like what you saw here today, gotta you gotta subscribe to the channel. Come on! But uh, there will be more videos, and I appreciate all the views and support that you guys can give me. You know, if it's just leaving a thumbs up or subscribing, of course. But uh, yeah, I shot some uh, shot some Ektar, some Ilford today, some Velvia. Messed a little bit of that up, but good learning process with large format. Yeah, the bug definitely bit me.